On this episode of TFL Truck, we have a classic old versus new mashup, or is it the matchup? On this side, I have a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 four wheel drive off road sport. At the time, this was the most off road capable and worthy truck in the half ton segment for Dodge. And on this side, I have a 2021 Ram TRX, currently the most off road worthy truck. But we want to figure out what is it like to live with these two trucks on a daily basis. So Case, what can we do to compare these two trucks? This is a $5,000 truck versus 77 grand truck. So there's 72 grand between them. There's a whole lot of differences between these two trucks and all of that is going to become very apparent in this video because the TRX is some of the best technology going into trucks right now. Whereas this old Ram is a little tired, but they're both off-road focused trucks, which means they have to make some compromises for daily driving and driving on the road. So we're gonna do an MPG loop to figure out how both of these trucks act in the real world. And then we're gonna do a zero to 60 competition just for fun. Heck yeah. Well, this is a 5.9 liter V8 Magnum. So it should be relatively quick, right? Uh... So we have 20 years separating us and 72,000 bucks between these two trucks. 20 years separating us, are you really 42? <laughs> Actually, let's not talk about that. I'm talking about the trucks. Okay, yeah, well, there is that much time, that much price difference, and a massive difference in the amount of power that these trucks make. But I'm interested to find out if these two get similar fuel mileage because that TRX is not easy on gas. No, dude, and TRX is drink, drinks only premium. Of course, you don't have to use premium in your truck. Um, but you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised if they got the identical fuel economy. We recently purchased this truck for a no pavement needed series we also call to Hell and Back where this truck is going to compete against a Ford and a Chevrolet. Um, and this has actually turned out to be a quite special truck because it does have a factory lift, it does have pretty new tires, uh, and of course a four wheel drive system and a big engine. So this truck is pretty cool except, like Case was saying, it has quite a few miles on it. It's a little bit tired but we just went through the brakes so this should be a pretty good truck of course this is a brand new truck the trx it's currently the king of off-road half-ton trucks or at least we think so and it has a supercharged v8 engine it has state-of-the-art suspension it's adaptive suspension it's it's got 702 horsepower 6.2 liter supercharged v8 8-speed automatic transmission, giant 35-inch tall tires. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what fuel efficiency we get on both trucks and also <laughs> what the difference is as far as 0 to 60. All right, here we go. Time to experience the awesomeness that is my 5.9 liter Magnum V8. Dude, you actually accelerated pretty quickly. Well, part of the reason my 2001 Ram has such fantastic acceleration is because it weighs almost 1,500 pounds less than the TRX. Dude, this TRX is not a fully loaded truck. This is a TR1 package. But nonetheless, I feel like I'm in a luxury vehicle that can fly over the desert and jump. Wow, my heated steering wheel and my heated seats are wonderful right now. Yeah, I have to heat my steering wheel and my seats, you know, manually. But, uh, but I'm pretty comfortable myself. Old school cloth seats in these trucks are actually pretty nice. I heard your Magnum uh, come, go by me. Damn straight, this Magnum, uh, well, it makes a lot of noise, but surprisingly not a lot of acceleration to go along with it. 
Under the hood of our 2001 Ram, we have a 5.9 liter Magnum V8, 245 horsepower, and 335 pound-feet of torque, or in other words, not enough to compete with a TRX. But Case, this engine shows you the firing order on the V8 engine. Oh yeah, just like a Lamborghini. That's pretty fancy. Well, it's almost a Lamborghini. All right, well, let's see what this beast has to offer. Keep in mind, this is a mile above sea level, as always. This is our closed road. I'm ready to go. Wow. Okay, there's a little slip. Yeah, this is not a high-performance truck. It does have a big displacement engine, but it's not a high-performance truck. I'm gonna try one more the other direction, but I doubt I'm gonna improve. I think the years of use and abuse took their toll on this Ram. And I don't think it's the engine actually. I think the engine is still relatively healthy. It's just the way it's delivering the power uh, using the transmission, that's kind of an issue. My best time guys is 13.82. So for this acceleration test, I'm gonna use my sport mode. Of course, TRX is four-wheel drive all the time. It's four-wheel drive auto. And I'm gonna try launch control. All right, so traction control is already disabled in sport mode. Oh! Okay. I think that was still the quickest. 4.4, guys. Oh, the seat belt is tight. <laughs> this whole truck is just like a monster. Ooh. Try one more this direction. Still, 4.4 is now the best time. Right there, 4.4 in a production truck. Woo! the quickest production truck we've ever tested, period. All right, there's our final number. Let's do some calculations. 4.423. So our total mileage was 55.7 and this old Dodge took exactly 4.423 gallons of fuel, which figures out to 12.59. So 12.6 rounding. I hope I can beat, what is it, 12.6 that you had? It's a low bar. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny that both of these trucks got identical mileage? Even though what this truck has like triple the horsepower. <laughs> that would be, and I would say that you've had a lot more fun in this for the same amount of fuel. But not so, the same amount of money for a purchase price. No, so smiles per gallon are high. Oh no! It's already a pretty low number, so let's wait 30 seconds to top off. Oh, that's so close, dude. 4.101. Okay, so it's a little bit better, but let's see what the number is. Same distance, 55.7 miles, divided by 4.101, equals 13.6, dude, one MPG. 
Almost exactly. A full, almost a full one MPG better. I cannot believe this. And it's actually pretty good. According to the EPA, these numbers are possible, right? And it's a mixed loop. So actually the TRX is getting more and more efficient the more we drive it, the more the engine is broken in. Uh, just soon it's gonna be a hybrid, I think. So case okay, for 72 grand extra, the TRX, I think it just delivers more smiles per gallon. Yeah, it's definitely more smiles per gallon. You get a lot more with the TRX, but for five grand, this one will get you down the road and you're not gonna have to pay it off for the next 30 years. <laughs> that is true. And yeah, guys, as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the news, views, and real world, independent, and honest reviews.